Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Major Garrett in for Nora. We begin tonight with COVID cases soaring. It was exactly two years to the day that the world learned of an unknown virus causing flu-like symptoms in China. Now, the Omicron variant of that coronavirus is fueling another global wave of infection. The U.S. reported nearly half a million new cases in a single day. That is the largest daily total of any country during this pandemic. Meanwhile, and importantly, hospitalizations nationwide are at their highest level since September. Today, there was big news for parents, with the FDA set to authorize Pfizer booster shots for 12 to 15-year-olds. And COVID cases among airline workers continue to snarl the skies, with more than 1,000 flights canceled today. CBS's Nancy Chen starts us off tonight from New York City. Good evening, Nancy. Major, good evening to you. It was another record-breaking day here in New York, with nearly 75,000 new cases reported statewide. Hospitalizations are also rising fast here, with more than 1,000 hospitals reporting across the country a critical staffing shortage. With final preps underway for the New Year's Eve ball drop in Times Square, COVID cases keep rising to record highs. To fight the surge, incoming New York City Mayor Eric Adams said he'll keep in place a first-in-the-country vaccine mandate for private sector workers. Our focus is vaccine and testing, vaccine and testing, vaccine and testing. City services are feeling the strain. Several subway lines have suspended operations because of staffing shortages. The fire department says 30% of its EMS personnel is out sick and 21% of NYPD officers are out too. In Cincinnati, the mayor declared a state of emergency after more than two dozen firefighters came down with COVID, with those remaining forced to work overtime. Nobody can recall a time in recent history within the last almost 50 years where firefighters have been forced to stay beyond their normal hours. Nationwide, COVID cases are rising so fast, it's estimated more than three Americans are testing positive every second. 15 states, plus D.C. and Puerto Rico, are averaging more daily cases than ever. Florida shattered its state record that was set just yesterday. Where are we right now in Omicron surge nationally? We are at the very beginning, unfortunately, uh, and likely have at least uh, four to eight weeks before we're going to see it uh, rise and then begin to fall again. And during that time, we are going to see uh, COVID activity in this country like we haven't seen since the beginning of the pandemic. And as pediatric hospitalizations hit a record high for the year, the FDA is reportedly expected to authorize Pfizer boosters for 12 to 15 year olds early next week and boosters for children 5 to 11 with compromised immunity. Johnson & Johnson released data showing its booster is effective at reducing hospitalizations against the Omicron variant. Still, no matter their vaccination status, travelers are now being urged to avoid cruises and new guidance out today from the CDC. More than 5,000 new COVID cases on cruise ships were reported in the last two weeks. Omicron surge has continued to strand those traveling by air. More than 1,000 flights have been canceled today. We're not going to live forever in a constant crisis, uh, but for the time being, it's going to be a challenge. Another tool in the fight against COVID is soon on its way. The first of the pills authorized for at-home treatment are expected to go out this week, Major. At the very beginning, yet again, Nancy Chen, thank you so much.